All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We're back for another Minecraft mayhem. We're going to end up doing a little bit of a tutorial to start with. And just so you know, we have uh, Nikki Marie 1987 on the line for this deal. So you'll have two different commentators. Uh, go ahead and say hi, Nikki. Nikki? Yeah? Say hi. Uh, I, I was getting attacked by a skeleton. Oh. <laughs> Hello, everyone. So explain to them what you're going to be making. Um, what we're pretty much going to be making is an automated, um, core poster. Pretty simple. Yeah. See, I've messed around a little bit. I've messed a little bit around with the redstone, and it drives me nuts because it ends up everything flips when it's supposed to flop. So I don't know if I find it as simple. Said we're making this in um, EOT Flash's yard, right? Now, do you see this type of farming is inhumane? Oh yeah, I don't pass very many of these on the highway. <laughs> I just have to give you guys hell whenever I see these because as you can see over on my farm, I'm a traditional farmer. <laughs> no, I do. No, I have. <laughs> I don't remember if I think we ended up going past your Rainbow Madness. In fact, I'm going to walk over there just in case, and if nothing else for... Oh, my sheep? Yeah. Just, yeah. In, just in case somebody new is watching and they don't feel like... Because I wouldn't even be able to reference what stream that was in. But we're going to go over to Rainbow Madness. 
Oh, okay. Because I don't know that you've seen that. Right. That is my front area. Are you talking to I do. I do have this other entrance now. Passed by Alley of a Hundred Pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so is Valley of a Hundred Pigs going to be gone, you're saying? This is Rainbow Madness. <laughs> did you go down? No, I'm behind you, but have you seen oh. my backyard lately? Well, no, I haven't. <laughs> I've got my cactus farm now. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yep. I saw him and decided what I'm going to do with this block of land, but... And I made a back entrance into the pool. And I can get to it from both sides. I don't know if you've ever walked through my pool when you've been streaming. Yeah, I've... But once again, not being able to... To reference which one it was because we've done a few of these since you know we did uh, Minecraft Mania week and so I, I remember sliding down the slide and showing him that and but it's always good to go ahead I thought, weren't we doing it in EOTS? What's that? Weren't we doing it in EOTS uh, yard? Or did you move it? She's doing that. We're going to blast over to chat a little bit on oh, there we go. on our social media. Make sure to check us out on our social media. Is the way we can communicate with you. stream once a day 
and so we definitely um, we haven't quite tagged down as to the time and stuff. Once again, we're doing it late. We're just bad that way. We we are in a live um, running enterprise here, so it ends up being that getting away from that is kind of difficult. But you can check us out on Twitter, and we share a lot of our stuff on there. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube. We definitely would love the the viewer base on there. You can check out our archives on there as well. Uh, you can contact us by email if you have any games you'd like to see or anything like that. That'd be awesome to hear from you. Uh, we've got multiple brands and so Facebook we have every brand on there. Make sure to check out our magic page. Uh, that's actually done by ER Flash. He's the guy that has the big farmhouse that we were at at the beginning of the stream. And so we would really love to have you as a fan. Contact us with any sorts of information that we may have missed in anything. And you know, we just love to talk games. We're huge gamers here. And snackies, when you're ready, we are ready. we are back. Okay. So once you've decided where you want this thing at, the first thing you're gonna do, and I'm gonna start a little ways away from the wall, that way I have some room to work with, is you're gonna dig three holes. And how do you make soul sand? Soul sand you get from the nether realm. Huh? So you obtain yours from the nether realm? Yes. I missed that um, fun. <laughs> Well, thank you, Eot, for providing the soul sand. <laughs>
do that is just with your simple wooden sign. And put it on one of the blocks like that. And what are you doing? Camera oh, view. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it up underneath? Huh? Are we doing it up underneath or on top? Oh, kind of. It's going to be right here behind it. Yep, I can see that so far. Thank you. 
It's all good. Now, what does the fence post do? Why can't you put a block there? Um, where? Where you put that fence post in? So if you have the glass in there, you'd watch them burn, right? So this portion, the glass is good if you want maintenance. If you... Yeah. If you Well, wait. 
So in theory, you could you could also design that with a colored block or colored glass to make it look any way that you wanted it yeah. to. And so, in, in theory, you could also color it pink glass because it's your pig one. You could do a brown glass for your cow one. Then that way you can tell the difference between the two from as you're walking up to them. Yeah, yeah, that would work. That's cool. You have a tendency of throwing things.
candy. <laughs> I don't think I put enough bees in that cobblestone, but... <laughs> twice but it just didn't take. Yeah. Alright, so what I did here, and you don't have to do it as you saw it, you have to change with them in clothes. But some people choose to enclose the redstone to ensure that if something does happen, um, you're less likely to take any damage to that system then. And it just kind of keeps it protected. What do you mean enclose? What do they enclose it with? I, I enclose it with stone. You enclose it? Oh, so you can leave that open, you're saying? Yes. Okay. Yep, and, and you saw on, on EOS, he, he just has it open. Um, you can choose to enclose it if you want. But some people, when they build this stuff, they don't like having all the, the redstone visible. Because it's a more complex stuff. It, So while she's building that wall, I'm going to state, um, in case the graphics weren't able to pick up the question, the question is how you get uh, the basic stone, and as we answered him, you smelt cobblestone, and that creates stone. If you then put the stones within, and fresh in my memory, because I'm not at a table right now, once you put the stones in, how do you then make the stone blocks? Um, I believe you put it in just a cube, I'm not sure. Okay, and then... I don't know. I think you just do a little, a little cube and then it creates the, the actual stone stone like I have around my pool and whatnot. <coughs> And that would be that kind of stone right there. Uh, and you get four. Four for every one, don't you? Um, I think so. If I'm not mistaken, don't you, you just put them in a corner of it, don't you? Like the stone, you hold it into yeah. a corner. And then it creates four of those out of it so in all reality it turns one cobblestone into a stone and then one stone turns into four of those blocks and so it's cheaper to actually make it out of there and you'll find that if a creeper happens to blow up next to them they don't blow up as much at least that's what I, i've found 
Am I missing anything over on that side that you're doing, or are you still just building that wall? Are you actually stomping on them right now? <laughs> no, I fell in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> You have pigs. Uh, you have pigs running through the wall.
being quite a the tedious part of it, in my opinion, of getting all your animals in here. You could just start with um, two and just build up as you see them. That would work too. Especially since this time I seem to be having trouble. All I know is we've got pigs everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that's probably all like, oh my god, we're free. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and pan the world of our little town. Yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and pan the world of our little town here. Um, pigs included. We, as we see here, um, French Tickler is building quite a massive construct and that's going to be real fun to watch it evolve as we do these streams because I still say he now has the highest building within our seed at this point. In fact, the funny thing is, we're now panning over to the original tower that was created so you could see our town from a distance. I think his is about three times as tall as that tower. <laughs> and, and about, it looks like seven times as wide. <laughs> this is our original headquarters that we did. Um, back before the town was built. This is how we located from the spawn point. And then in there we actually created a bed so that then we all spawned there in case of a death as we built this town. But uh, that's quite a massive construct that's gonna end up being. I think he's making Trump Tower. <laughs>
Well, I mean, in all reality, now the construct of it, these pigs don't die, do they? No. These pigs just live a sad, sorry life within a block by block radius. Yeah. <laughs> It's the babies that they watch burn, right? Yeah. <laughs> and now this has a thing that technically the more adult pigs you can put in there, the more babies you're going to. Now, is there any way at this point, because obviously the babies fall down because they're babies. Is there a way to build a mechanism that makes it if you want to replenish your adults to make it to where it produces more and more, that you could put something in between that makes it to where you could close it off so that then the babies won't fall down, they would grow up and become adults? But wouldn't they be down in the place that would sear? They would, yeah. Yep. And so, do you think you could put another layer in that makes it to where that if you want to build the top population up, you could close it off so that then as you're feeding them, then it's building the top population and they're not falling down into the searer. As you're asking that, I'm panning for the audience so they can see how they're basically all across the world. <laughs> I think my, I think most of these things know what I'm trying to do. I get them up here and then they lose interest.
a second. Let me I'm climbing down. here you were saying about want to have your pigs in feeding them. I was able to feed one. Now, uh, am I only seeing two pigs in there? 
Is that correct? That that. What was that? See, on the one that I ended up seeing that you were messing with, 
Uh, that's the flow that you had going. Here's some. Any block? Any block that matters. Like, that's way down in there. pickaxe on me. Okay. And that didn't mess with the water?
two. Just one of them. Why do you say that? Now, would it or would it not be that um, I saw a lot more pigs than the other one? So that baby pig hasn't necessarily gone down, but if we were to get the pigs to a certain population, would it then begin to force them down? And the reason why I say this is I'm going to walk away real quick while you're doing this, and we'll walk over to Eot's cow one. in which that he uses a massive amount of cows. Yeah, but they should still, the flow of your water is what directs them um, down that chute. And so, without the,
All right, so we're back, and we're finding what the issue is on the pig herding is the fact that it's real difficult with two people standing around to herd them. So I'm going to head back up into my vantage point over here. So in what direction did you flow the water this time? Um, I went ahead and I did it from both the left and the right corner. So it's flowing towards the middle. Gotcha. So once again, in go the pigs. And of course, if it ends up being that, that you have to alter your water based on it not working at that point then you would alter it if you find a better flow and definitely if you find a better flow let us know um, we are always into feedback so send us a message or email us Just do the subject line as awesome flow <laughs> and at that point we will send you a gift voucher for your feedback. I'm taking it, that's not a good sign. No, so not. I might have to, actually this is, this is the exact setup that I did.
What's that?
Okay, what's that? No, I put a thing in there and then went down there and it wasn't there. And so I was missing a piece of I feel like I'm hurting the stooges here. I can't get them to come through the gate. What's that? I feel like I'm hurting the stooges here. I can't get them to come through the gate. Oh, I could have all the time at once. Yeah, which is what the, the stooges were good for.
talking about about two people standing around trying while you're trying to herd pigs. Tend to get a little attached to the other people standing around.
We got a little piggy down here. Is that a good sign? Do you want now? Watch you beat it with a block.
And now for safety, for, for safety, like so you don't fall in, he, I notice he has a fence above his, a fence post that, that's just standing yeah. in the air. Should. And so then that way we can't fall in. Yes. And then at that point up here you can do um, a little chest that has carrots in it and whatnot. That way, if they're already out there and you don't have to carry them with I take it this is now the part where you're putting the ladder up? Looks like we have adult pigs down here now. Maybe not, I don't know. Nope, I guess they're still babies. Their heads are getting their heads are getting so big. <laughs> On the sign, you're putting pig stuffer. Um, well, yeah, I can just put that. No, I'm kidding. You can put whatever. as we always state, it's more difficult to do live. Um, it ends up being that because it's trial and error, um, a lot of people will end up, they'll film it and then edit it down. Makes it look a lot better. You guys got to see it live, so it's definitely you get to see the little bit of the hardship that goes through messing with some of this technology that's in Minecraft. 
some of the trial and error that goes into it. And of course, with anything in life, nothing ever goes right the first time, so. I see you've already collected a sign and some soul sand and a block in your hopper. All this stuff is produced. <laughs> I said I see you've already got a sign and a soul sand and a block in your hopper. seeing some more go down. Dan, I'd still be curious into us playing around with that method of, of having that piece in there that would stop it up so that then that way you can build the top population. It's not really a segue. What it would be is right up in here, where the opening is, a switch that would stuff a glass piece in where that water's flowing at that point for a moment's time, so that then that way, in fact, it'd have to be quite a moment's time because you'd need the pig to then grow completely up and then be able to. So it'd have to be a toggle switch that doesn't, see like this one right here, it toggles when you push it, it's instantly, when you let go of it, then the thing goes back. This would have to be one that would keep the block there, so that then that way you could just push it and it's going to push it and keep it open until you push it again and it, cl and it closes it. Yeah, that is, that's true. I don't know. Um,
waiting for the pigs to grow. Didn't you do some remodeling in your house? Oh, I thought you'd said. I thought you'd said that you had done like a enchanting table and stuff like that and some. I cannot seem to walk through a door today. I do that. <laughs> there we go. Now is this skeleton picture, is that something that's out of the game or did you design that? Because I know that you designed some of yours. No, that's straight out of the game. I see. So on this seed you have it. There you go.
<laughs> did, did you see the new sign on the, the well? No. Well, I had the no bombing, no swimming, no pets, drinking water on uh -huh. there. The no bombing being a, a, a lane crap hook. But somebody actually put attention residents. Please refrain from defecating in the water. <laughs> oh, that one. Yeah, I saw that one. I wonder. I just assumed that one was one that was always there. No. <laughs> about, about as funny as I got was children are not to play near the well. And then, of course, my no bombing and all that. <laughs> I've been trying to fill up the community stuff too with uh, French Tickler showing up and all that that I feel more community stuff is definitely needed. So this is like this is like a showtime kind of deal in which that you set it and forget it. Sounds good. And a snipping station up top, huh?
So when you go to Modern Retro Plaza, Nikki Marie is in charge of doing the fan videos that you see. Uh, she's done a Lucifer one and what was the, oh, a Beauty and the Beast one. What's your plans for your next fan video? Then on the business side of things, uh, Mystic Collectibles is definitely going to be exciting the population with some new stock. Yeah, we'll definitely have to feature some of those products on some of our streams at that point. Let people get a look at those. And those are available at modernretroplaza.club slash shop. Head over there and put in an order. It's got all sorts of stuff. Uh, as you stated, figurines. We got Pop Funko. World of Warcraft figures from the game room. Um, I have yet to put on like the Trivial Pursuit and stuff, so I definitely I don't really want to spam those too much. I will have to put those on soon. I don't even believe those are at our Square Market site, are they? The. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with well, with the fact that we are sitting here watching them. Oh yeah, that's mean. Check this out, guys. Don't you wish you're eating it? <laughs> Um, the things in the Jeep are about the same height, so I would have to assume that 
good day. definitely have to get back in there and see what other loot we can you don't even what I think they've got the basic concept of the, the shove them forward button and, yeah. and for the most part it ends up being that this is the sort of thing that you would basically right before your adventure oh would go out and and feed the animals at that point they're going to create the babies and then you'd walk away you wouldn't it's not like the chicken one in which that you're going to actually go and create it. See like this, this chicken one, as I'm taking stuff out of it, and now it's starting to catch up, but stocking up some feathers, <laughs> but it's so over full and queued up that when you take something out of it, you can't put it back.
but it's done with a different mechanism because it's auto firing over here. It's actually automatic. Speaking of live pains in the butts, all the calves that he put in there would have been quite a ordeal to get in there. What's that? All the calves that he put into his would have been quite an uh -huh. ordeal to get in there. Beginning on the sheep one. Oh, I see. While she constructs the sheep one, we're going to review the schedule and the schedule is kind of a little on the washy side because unfortunately it ends up being well not unfortunately we really love what we do so it ends up being though that we are in a running industry and so it's difficult at times for us to get away. We have set our time schedule to 10 p.m. on every day except for Fridays and Sundays. Sundays we're doing 5 o'clock and then obviously on Friday, which is our Friday night game night here at the shop, we're doing 5 to 8 o'clock. And so that starts at 5 p.m ends at 8 p.m. and normally does the feature game of that week. Just uh, reviewing the schedule with people. Now uh, Today is the day later on, obviously, is going to be Friday night game night. We, uh, we were talking about pizza in the shop. I think we'll be able to still pull off the stream from 5 to 8. about it is that technically you know we do have the other consoles the the blasting of being able to <laughs> feature the games that are being played around us so it, 
it'd be interesting to get some people on some of the consoles and um, I know the one one stream that we had that happen was the Twitter stream that never archived because I found out that Twitter or Twitter Twitch the Twitch stream that never archived I found out that Twitch you have to toggle the archive on in which on Facebook you have to toggle it off and so So we, the people that watched it live that night definitely saw the people that came in, they were playing uh, Injustice on the PS3, but uh, that didn't archive, so we ended up losing the footage of it. Any modern retro plaza news that you've got, Nikki? Um, not any that I can, can really think of um, right off the top of my head. That's what I do. So we'll kind of do a Q&A with you. What would you say that your all-time favorite franchise is on games? Like where uh, I'd be known as being a Zelda fan. What would you say yours is? So that's the franchise part. What, what's your favorite game? Like, see where I'm Zelda. Your. Um, I did like the off, the off 
Have you ever played? Have you ever played? Have you ever played the original Donkey Kong, like from back when I was a kid? Which we're talking like originally on the arcade, um, I believe yeah. in in nineteen eighty. Yeah. It comes from the fact that Mario was not originally going to be a plumber. He was actually originally slated to be a carpenter. And so obviously it ends up being that that's a construction zone. And thus the hammers and stuff like that. Obviously, because Adam Sandler and those guys, they were all from the era of, like, my gaming. And so, Cuber and, and all that stuff was, it was really important back in those days. Every game that they had, uh, Space Invaders, that was basically the games we all played. Yeah. Um, I can't remember them actually... They didn't do any New Age games, as far as I can remember. You know, because, like, uh, what was that? Wrecking Ralph? That that had a, a bunch of video games? They had both new and old, as far as I can remember. But Pexels, they, they really went with 8-bit. And stayed true to it. to say I, I didn't have a problem with it. I have to say for it being an Adam Sandler movie and most Adam Sandler movies they're very uh, cookie cutter. I think that he, he was able to get outside of the box on it. I mean you still saw some of the cookie cutter stuff and the fact that there were a lot of Adam Sandler stars in this movie. So you still saw some of that cookie cutter Adam Sandler stuff to it, but it definitely, I think it did justice to the game world. It did a lot more justice than Gamer, if you remember that movie. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The Gamer, which is AKA the um, trailer for the Kinect. That, that is still the last time you got me into a theater, too, huh? For a pickle? Yep. Yep. <laughs> I am just not... A... Go ahead. I don't blame you. It is kind of nice to just be able to do that. 
I, that's actually a lie. You got me to World of Warcraft 3D. See, that's the thing is you told the theater lady because she's a local theater person in fact you can look that up at Crest Theater um, you told her that all it has to do is deal with video games and I'm there and unfortunately we were really disappointed they didn't have World of Warcraft in our town so we had to go out of town to see it and of course because we were going out of town we decided to also experience the 3d experience and i have to say if we had one closer we would definitely do that a lot yeah we got to see the trailer for suicide squad and automatically looked at each other and stated we're watching this 3D. We didn't, but once again, that had to do more with distance. No. And thing is that like I said watching knowing that you're being watched it's a completely different deal uh, which you've been on the streams before but it's not as relative to your existence when I'm over here in this room and I'm broadcasting and basically following every move and you're just over gaming and, and it happens to be that I'm streaming it I do believe that there's a little bit of getting used to when you are sitting there talking and so then you kind of have a, more of a attention to the audience being around. Yeah. Which, speaking of audience, that reminds me of the fact that Nikki has a natural broadcaster scripted uh, talent, and you can see those on our top tens, and uh, we just really haven't come up with anything real fabulous, as Nikki will agree, it ends up being that uh, we did the toy one, the creepy toy countdown, and we just really felt that that was like one of our best countdowns. And so, how do you go back from that, you know? definitely pop out some more top tens uh, she's got more fan videos on the way obviously the more we stream the less that stuff gets developed and so it ends up being that it's kind of a give take we've really been enjoying the live streams we like uh, developing on twitch and we like calling it twitter <laughs> I'm, I'm bad about that but, and you know, it's actually my mother that, that got me 
to where that that automatically is the word that's associated with it. Because for the longest time, when she was talking to Eot, she'd state, "You can do Twitter on the phone, right?" And he's like, "Yeah, you can do Twitter on the phone." And she was actually wondering whether she'd be able to see his streams on her phone, and it ends up being that. The bad thing is, is now every time I think Twitch, I think Twitter. Speaking of Eot Flash, make sure to check out his Saturday Night Magic stream. Um, also, you can check his archive out at Twitch. You can also check it out on YouTube, or you can go to modernretroplaza.club. While you're there, you'll see these specials that are going across the screen. Um, Honeysuckle is the Emporium scent of the month. Candy Watermelon is the bees. Um, flavor of the month for e-juice so we've got a ton of brands ton of stuff you definitely got to check out our website it's an awesome trendy store as you can see the pop funko is up there uh, also contact us because we do design the graphics that you're seeing so uh, if you need any graphics done for your website or anything like that, we definitely do that. And so we definitely would like to hear from you. No. The, since we're... Uh, family run enterprise obviously we are not a conglomeration that's trying to make a million bucks we want to cater and help family businesses doesn't mean we won't work with corporations but but uh, I think you'll like our, our price plans as far as designs go we do videos